What is up, family? This is Professor T in the house. This is take two of this video. Had an epic fail the first time I did this reaction, so it's not really your first reaction anymore. So, this right here, in case you didn't read the title of the video, this is some more of my reaction series. We're going through, we're finding some not very often viewed videos and bringing them more into light so that more people can hopefully see them. Right now, people aren't, the algorithm isn't feeling this series. So as we keep this going, I really hope that more people will get to see this because it's, it's not just about me. It's about bringing in other artists that has a similar struggle as I have with, you know, getting, getting our voices heard to have an opportunity to have a few more people hear it. So on this one, we're going to listen to Henrik. This is a Christian rapper here, uh, evidently. Looked at his social media pages. I wish he had a little bit more of a bio on his pages. It's something to put you young guys and girls on game. Having a bio makes a huge difference. I know this from experience, you know, when I've been trying to get booked for performances, concerts, music festivals. Having a bio makes you stand out. And it also, when you send it to people... They can read about you, your story of what you're about. And it, it also helps because it gives people a little bit more of a connection to your music when they know who it is that they're listening to and a little bit about them. But with this song here, this is Stressed Out by Henrik. Uh, he's a Caucasian rapper. So I definitely want to bring that out too. That's I like to expose when there's something that's not, uh, you know, somebody that's they're breaking the mold to a particular style of music. So there's not... Even to this day, very many white rappers, so I want to call that out too. But I actually like Christian rap, so I'm looking forward to listening to this one again. I like rap that's clean, and I also like when people, they have music that's personal and has a message that means something special to them. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and listen to this stressed out video. Am I the only one though that does think that he looks like a soccer player for some reason? Like, I don't know why I get that vibe, but he's like a looks like a soccer player or something. I really do like the music video though on this one because like it's very creative, it's very cool. Like you can tell this ain't like a super expensive, super crazy video, but it's definitely like it looks good. It's creative. This is a really cool looking video though. Like he definitely looks like very like small town middle America too, like the setting of this. That's why I wish I could have found a bio. I would love to know where he's from. I'm gonna take a wild guess, just a wild stab in the dark. Um, I'm gonna guess this is the Carolinas. That's my wild stab in the dark guess. All right, let's bring it back to my face. I'll give you my thoughts. This is a little short song. I think that's a good length, though. Believe it or not, usually I complain about songs if they're if they could be a little bit longer, but no, that's a decent length. I think that was the perfect amount. That's all you needed to do. So my comments too on this one. I mean. I like this song, like this one right here. At the time that I watched it, it followed my rules if it has to be less than a thousand views. I was looking these up last week from, um, well, it was more than a week ago for the time that this will be uploaded. And it did not have a thousand views yet. So, but here's the thing. It only has like, at the time of recording, around 3,300. Stuff that just has like a few thousand views, I will still review because in the grand scheme of things, that's really not a lot for YouTube these days. So definitely this one here. I'm happy to see that it is going up though. You know, it's questionable if those are all 
because he has a big fan base or like they're being organically found. But still, it's good that those are going up because this is definitely something that should have uh, more attention brought to it. It's a very good modern rap song. You definitely can hear that it's very modern, a little bit poppy in some ways. But it's well executed for what it is. And um, critiques, once again, this is one, it's difficult for me to find anything to critique. Maybe in some parts, um, maybe the for the rapping, just to critique like a rapping vocal performance, there are certain parts where diction could be just slightly clearer. But once again, that's really nitpicky. Like this, I, I would go ahead and say it. Compar comparing this to some of like the rappers over my career from like New York City, from like the, the, the South, like Mississippi and whatnot that I've worked with, this is better than a lot of the vocal performances of some of those rap songs I've heard. And this is like a, a white kid doing Christian rap. So I'm just saying, it sounds more of a polished performance. So <laughs> it's difficult for me to really critique because there's not much there to critique on. You know, I like it. it sounds good. So with that one, um, like I said, the length of it is a little bit short. It could be a little bit longer, but there's a good length. So especially too, because like if you can't give a minute and thirty something seconds of your day to check out somebody's music, this this takes away any excuse if you're not listening to it. That way, this is like a seven eight minute long song that's like a snooze fest the whole time. So yeah, I like this song. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. So definitely, you guys go check it out. The link will be down below for this one. So to all of you watching, and to Henrik, I love what you do. Keep it up. I enjoyed listening to this, and I hope you did too, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.